pellets from my pet calf, Pancake. bit of mouth action there I've got another poorly beast here doesn't look too bad at the moment but flat out skitter in the back end I just feel like this calf's going the same way as the big calf did definitely caught this one earlier if it's the same jagged it up gonna give the vet a phone as well just the fact that this calf's got it it's in the same pen as the other big one if it's something that's going round them I just want to be sure that doesn't happen because um, this calf has definitely got something not right with it. Frustrating and it gets you, it gets your mind racing. Similar symptoms, not long after another one. You're just like, is this going to continue with others? It makes you really question what you're doing, whether you're doing everything right. Get some stuff done before the vet comes. Hopefully they're not too far away. 30 minutes away. Okay, it's a few hours later. Kevin and I have just been fixing a water trough. Vet came out, had a once over, checked a few things and basically pretty confident it's just a bit of pneumonia setting in and it's showing itself in a few different ways. First thing I did was jag it with Metacam and Draxon this morning when I noticed it. The vet then added a wee bit of steroid straight into the vein and also something else which encourages a calf to suck. I can't remember what it was. So she's definitely perked up a wee bit. A little bit kind of groggy on each side of the lung. That's the pneumonia coming through the breathing. I'm quite hopeful this calf will turn the right way. It's starting to come come a bit better than it was first thing this morning. Not like the big monster calf. It didn't, I don't think it had pneumonia. It was more septic all around the body. So time will tell, but I'm hopeful. Hi bud. You definitely picked up a wee bit. There was a lot of snot around about the nose this morning. That's cleared up. It would make sense the weather we've had. I mean, it was snowing a couple of days ago and then the day after that it was up to 15 degrees and muggy and damp so pneumonia definitely fits the conditions we've been having ah, i hate when people do that dad's now dumped a stone in the way to hopefully stop them doing that delivery van drivers there is not much care i would say now they're not all like that there's some great ones but there is definitely some bad ones Good morning. All the calves in this pen, which include all the twins, they're on a wee bit of a bite to eat. Just in the form of a bit of barley. They're not really needing the protein pellets, but there's protein pellets in it. Oi! Out my bucket. Righty-o! We're doing one box of potatoes, which are in there right now, all into five kilo bags on this pallet. Maybe then I'll fade away and I had to face the facts. Job done. One pallet load here for selling in the shop. Big spuds here for baking potatoes. If you come into the restaurant part of the shop, that's a good baker, that. Big belter. Trailer on. And we are off. What are we off to do, dog? Pick up a digger. Off to my buddy's Ross's. You have seen his digger before. He stopped by here when he bought it. Anyway, we're gonna grab a borrow of it. All aboard the bandit machine. Just over an hour up the road we go. New trough we put in the other day. Joiners are joinering. We'll give you an update on that later. Getting on well. They're a bit of a delay in roof sheets, so they're two weeks away. Bit of a vibration, just check the jockey wheel's not falling down. Nope, guess it's just a defender. They vibrate. I forgot to fill up before I left. Nice one. Update, the vibration has worked itself off. I've never been in a Rolls Royce, but I imagine it feels exactly like I feel right now. Luxury, really silent on the ear. You don't feel any bumps in the road at all. 
two doors of power and put the foot down and she just goes. Look, she. Oh, oh boys. Oh yeah. Now that is a lawnmower. What is she, a one and a half tonne? She's done a few hours anyway. Is that it? That's it. Wow. I think she's been treated like a dog. <laughs> and she's not going to get treated any better. <laughs> All aboard. Good to go. Right, we are off ski. Ah, Friday afternoon, fantastic. I got taken off with nuts and bolts. Right, we get the digger off. Yeah. Right, help me get it off. Yeah, right, jump out. Shut the door. Oh, Jesus. You need to take them off. Yeah. Do you know how to take them off? Pull that bit down and then lift it up. Then we'll go like that. is going to be absolutely raging. water trough that wasn't working all last summer that was filling up with IBCs apparently apparently there's a pipe that runs across this garden and goes that way N no one really knows where it is so I'm attempting to find it right now I can only apologize to gate lady she's gonna be raging and there's people coming around this weekend whoops I think we're about to get so Sorry Ross, I've actually got your digger dirty. Tell you what, what a right handy machine. It's dangerous getting a lend to some machinery. You get ideas. Only 2,600 hours, but looks like she's been through hell. Ross took the cab off because it doesn't fit in his garage with a cab on. The rain's not come yet, but it just keeps looking gloomy over there, doesn't it? Master of absolutely nothing. 
Certainly not master at driving these things, but we can solve problems, not in the most efficient manner, but problem will be solved with the aid of Le Digger. Better than using a spade. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee, what have I done? Flipping Nora. Hey, dog. Do not tailgate, lady. This is like Top Gear when they were at Steve Redgrave's garden, giving it a makeover. This. Is that a hoe? Is all you... <laughs> no, if you want to remove a plant, say, OK, there are no thistles at this time of year, but imagine they're thistles. How do you get them up? Well, well, you take one of these, which is a trowel, yeah. and then you uh, approach it like that, and you dig round it, lift it, and there it is. That took you... About 30 seconds. Dirty fingernails, cricked back. That's gardening, that's what you do. OK, now let me show you how I would remove it, OK? See these three here, ready? Well, granted, they're gone, but you they're can't... They're gone! You... Yeah! Hi. Hi. This is Steve Redgrave, I'm Redgrave. Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, I know you are. And we, we thought we'd come and do... Top um, Gear Ground... Ground Force. Garden. And make your garden, improve... But we, we haven't quite finished. So that trough down there has been not working for an unknown amount of time. And the information we have is that it is fed from water that comes very close to the house or is teed off the house. The house was here before the trough was there. Now, this house was done up a bit about four or five years ago. Kero tank for fuel, which is in this wee pipe that runs away up there as well as the garden got done up a wee bit. So our thinking was that trough was off because something got hit here and was blanked off and that was that. That is the Toby for the house, pipe coming up to it. And we thought there was a T coming off it that way, or a T coming off it that way. The mains comes around this way and then, that's not the case. That is a straight line right the way out through the hedge. We've hunted all along it for a T-junction, doesn't exist. Mains water has to get to this house somewhere and a pipe has to go from here to that trough because it used to work. So we're all stumped. What a time to be alive. And, oh yeah, she loves it. Abandoned ship and we'll blame the dog. She's been digging holes. That's her tucked up for the night. That'll do, I'm gonna go and sit and drink a cold bandit beer and think about my decisions today and await the hounding I will receive. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs>